My research involves the application of plasma in contact with liquid water. But we're also interested in ultimately the chemistry of what happens as well as the eventual applications. We're spanning kind of the engineering design, how you build and design and operate uh, plasma reactors in gas liquid cases. We typically make plasma where it's in a gas connected to a liquid. So we make electrodes that are touching or not touching but very close to the surface of a liquid and the plasma is generated almost like a spark or arc that moves along the water surface. It's a very small system that has a gap, or basically the spacing between the electrodes is only four millimeters. But it's such that it produces a water film and then a gas core and the plasma moves at the interface between the gas and the liquid. When the plasma contacts water, there are a lot of physical and chemical processes that occur. Uh, it's a very complicated system, but ultimately depends upon the environment. So if you have a gas that contains nitrogen and oxygen, then you can produce nitrogen oxides. If you have an atmosphere that's, let's say, pure argon, the water vapor coming into the plasma may produce what's called a hydroxyl radical. You can also make the hydrogen peroxide, which people are many familiar with that as a disinfectant. So the chemistry is very complicated, uh, and the physics is also coupled to the chemistry as well as the engineering. Plasma contacting liquid water has a wide range of applications, and it's being investigated now for cleaning water, but also for cleaning gases, making polymers and polymer coatings, and there's even more recently work to use plasmas with liquids to enhance plant growth, to make fertilizers that could help, or also to enhance germination of seeds. There are other applications in the case of plasma contacting biological cell for disinfection, killing bacteria, destroying viruses, uh, even potential applications in cancer. And working in a plasma area, particularly from an engineering perspective, it encompasses a very wide range of disciplines. Knowledge of physics, chemistry, electrical engineering, knowledge of the chemical engineering, how you build a reactor to do a chemical process. So all those elements coupled together in plasma, that's what's appealing to me. As a professor, I've had a great opportunity to work with many excellent students. And I've helped them and try to guide them as they went along to help them understand the results and write the papers. But ultimately, most of the work was done by my students. I acknowledge them and uh, thank them for all the hard work.